Hello friends, today we will learn how to use Topic Expert with PhoneGap. We will start with our uh, test project of PhoneGap. Here it is. This is our project phone game. We will start with the build process. Let's uh, just try to compile the project. By the meantime, what are the steps we have to cover? There are a few steps included to the Capital SDK project. We have to first include some system frameworks which are system configuration, quartz core, core telephony and core location then we have to include uh, external host in the core playlist. Uh, later we have to add plugin files to our project and so on we have to add some uh, flag to our other linkers ok uh, in the back we are getting our project compiled and running So it comes. Okay. Our currently our project is working. Okay. This is our test project which is running. So it shows that console your lock and it's when okay, cool. just stop the project and go with the steps starting with uh, first we have we have to add some uh, system configuration files to the project so just select your project then go to build process then expand link binary with files here you can check that there are several number of uh, libraries already added like system configuration quads code code telephony and co-location and other uh, frameworks so we move on to our next step uh, our next step is to add an external host in the uh, code dev.plist so just select resource folder then move down to code dev.plist where you have to add an extern external host file okay just add is to it and save your project cool uh, then we move on to our second third step which is to add Capit SDK and let folder to your project. Okay. We just go to our project folder, then select lib. Tap it SDK. Now go back to your project and drag them to your project folder so that they will get it added to your project. Just mark that copy items to the destination folder. Just add them. Good. So here is the capital SDK files. We we'll move on to next step. Is to add plug. Uh, the tap it SDK plugin contains to the plugin folder and the JS file. Okay. So we go back to our plugin folder. Just show in Finder. Then we select. Then we have to uh, go to plugin folders and copy header and source file of the plugin. Just copy them. Open your plugin folder and paste them. Otherwise, you can just drag and drop them to your plugin folders. Later, you have to add your files manually. Our next step is to add uh, JS JavaScript file to the uh, WW root folder and the G plugin folders. Just copy this plugin file 
and copy it to your plugin folder. It will open the Okay. Our next step is to check that whether the objects minus C flag is included or not in the project. So we'll select our project, go for file settings, then we type on other link of flags and check for it and it's already added so no need to add again okay we have already covered step 5 for which is adding plugin js plugin okay but then we have to add this entry of plugin so that our project would get to know that we are having a rapid sdk handler plugin so we can go back to your codeva.plist Expand your plugin entries, go to the end, make a new entry. Good. So we have covered the, our six step. Now just try to build this project. Um, it's getting a pile and we have gotten on top will succeed okay. now the only things which are left is in uh, index.html ok friends uh, currently uh, we are having uh, we are, first of all we have to you add a statement called script to which we include our js file to our project so we have this statement in our project in the index.html then the most important thing we have to use to use this plugin is to initialize our uh, plugin under the function called on device review so that uh, things like co-location uh, SDK plugin initializer and all things get initialized so there is a function called tap it as you can initialize it dot initialize and which will automatically initialize all the stuff okay. uh, for calling this uh, for using multiple functions we have to include some functions in our project I have already created some buttons um, for calling uh, showing banner ad, hide banner ad, show instructional ad and other stuff so I have included them and called some JavaScript functions. We will in also include some Java functions. Okay. Uh, these are the functions which are basically related to calling these scripts, uh, like show banner ad, which will internally call. Uh, plugin that it has to get show banana that call show banana with the uh, zone ID. Currently, have used 7527 as a uh, demo uh, ID which will automatically be used. Okay, we will save it and then try to compile it. Cool, uh, we have got several number of button over our screen. Okay, we will start with calling the function show banana. Okay. As soon as we click, let me show you at the background. Great, we have got, got a success. Note that uh, the functionality has got working, and in the background, you can check that banner has been loaded. Function and great, and the uh, application itself, we are getting uh, add displays. Now, we will try with height banner, ads, uh, which will also sh shown that we have got successfully called it, and we have to move on the banner. Now we'll click show initiation. Right. Great. And it's also shown that and we can check in the add it loaded and we have it another add loaded in the screen. Great. Similarly we have an uh, add as an alert one kill zone this is just a temporary additive name. And we can also show this the same prompt as in prompt. So this is how simple steps which through which we, you can use your tapit sdk 
with phone cam thanks for watching thank you